Alright, so now I'm going to paint the bow. I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with the other bow. I'm going to be using a uh, latex paint. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is just put a light first coat on here. You can see. So I'm not trying to be careful with this. I'm using a natural bristle, natural bristle brush. And I'm not really trying to be careful or anything because all of these lines, I actually want them to be here. Because I'm trying to uh, get a sort of wood grain effect with the paint. So you just go ahead and you apply it in straight strokes. The main thing is you just want to get the paint on the bow. And one of the things you want to do is, you know, go back and make sure they're all straight strokes, unless you want it to look you can kind of change the way you brush it and it'll give you the appearance of you know differences in the grain so I'm just gonna go straight strokes on the back of the bow and then the belly There's the first coat. Now you just want to let this dry a little bit. Not completely dry, just enough so that we can put a second coat on here to fill in this white. So I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back. It's slightly tacky now. So I'm just going to go and apply another coat. So basically what we're going to do this time is just try to cover up as much of the white spots as we can. Now, you're not going to get all the white spots on this run and you don't want to lay the paint on too thick. So just get what you can. You know, what we're really doing here is just building up layers of this sort of wood grain pattern. Because every time we try to fill up these light spots, but we fail, the light spots just become, you know, deeper portions to the grain as we're building up sort of these higher grain lines. Okay, so there's the second coat. So now I'm going to let this dry one more time and then do a final coat to get everything. Alright, the second layer is tacky now, so I'm just going to go for a third coat. So this time I'm just pretty much going over the spots that have that show the pipe. So that's the final coat. So you just want to make sure that you got everything. Once you got that, you just want to let this dry completely, or at least allow it to follow the instructions and let it dry to the touch. So you can go ahead and paint up the other side, then let the whole thing dry. You really need to uh, let it fully cure, you know, let it sit at least a day or so. That way when you put your string on here, this won't all just peel off. 
But once it sets, it's really durable. It's a fairly durable finish and it will really protect the pipe from UV damage. So there it is. All right. So now I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to finish off the other side and I'll show you what it looks like done. All right. Here's the bow all finished up. So I went ahead and I let the paint dry. So here it is. You can see that kind of wood grain look. Or it's kind of nice. It, it it's kind of neat because it looks like you took some wood, you know, roughly sanded it, but you know the natural grain is showing through, and then you sort of dyed or painted over it or sealed it somehow. It's kind of a neat effect. If you notice, I went ahead and I put the wrappings on here, the same as the District 12 bow. I also put in a, the same type of rest here, just some Velcro. Here it is. Here it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.